So you join me in Antalya in Turkey. Not the first time I've been to Turkey, but the first time I've been to Antalya. Now I'm here this week to have a good look around because I am fairly reliably informed by friends at home that Turkey is now slowly but surely replacing China as the number one destination for tourists buying uh, counterfeit watches and bringing them back into the United Kingdom and trying to pass them off as the real thing in the form of super clones, super fakes, whichever name you want to give them. Now, I somehow personally have my doubts. Um, I still believe that China is probably the number one culprit, but that's not what I'm being told at least. Mrs. Thought wanted a holiday, and I thought, what better than to kill two birds with one stone? We'll have a week or two away, and we'll have a look around and see what we can find in the bazaars, and more importantly, out the back, because that's where these super clones, if they even exist, are gonna be. And I think you're gonna be surprised, gone are the days, you know, the 50 pound, 20, 30, 40 pound fake on the beach. Um, those days appear to be over, from what I'm told at least. So over the next few days, I'm gonna be getting out and about, obviously gonna be try and be um, as covert as possible. I don't think they're gonna be too much of a problem. It's not illegal here, which is mind boggling. I've just been in the hotel and they're even selling fake bags, etc., fake shoes in the actual hotel, which is, to us Europeans, is just unheard of. Um, and it's completely strange. So we'll get out and about. I'm gonna show you what I find and hopefully we'll all learn something together.
Now you know that I don't like heights. And look what Mrs. T has got me on now. Kesin çünkü hepsi fiyatlar farklı. Hiç fiyat verdin mi hepsini? Yani söyledim canım mesela bu... So what I'm saying is... You see, uh, all is different price. That's because you must know which 10 you want okay. before. Okay, okay. Yani mesela bu 200 kaç yazıyor? 45. Do you get many English people buying lots? Do you get many English people buying lots of watches? This one's 200, yeah? 250. 250? Yes. Start by 200 pounds here, the watches. Yeah. Guy Ritchie, my regular customer. Really? Yes. They met last year here a movie. And they buy a lot of Richard Milley. And now share in Instagram every day a different picture. Of course, many people think about it. Wow, this is real, yeah? Look. So where are these made? Are they in China or No, China? no, no. This is movement is Japanese product Istanbul. Chinese here. Yeah. We're selling no more. Just for showing here. Yeah. You can buy 80 pounds between 120 everywhere. But we sell no more just for showing. So you they're know? like 80 pounds, yeah? Yeah. 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 They're the Chinese ones. And movement inside half plastic. A little bit surprised, you know? Yeah. But this is with warranty we're selling, so. <clears throat> You want to see also a red one, Richard Milley? Mm hmm Okay, I bring for you. I think same like original triple A, that's where you say. <clears throat> How much is this one? This is 500. 500 pounds, yeah? yes? Yes. But if you like it a brightling or takoya, you can buy for 200 or Rolex stage. How much is this one? This normal, this this euro normal etiquette. Two so fifteen. Yeah, this is called no problem. Yeah, yeah. Takoya, Oblo, Brightling, Patek Philippe. So I take this one. I put there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see also lady collection Rolex? No, no. I want good no? thanks. You're welcome. Automatic, it's a few for us. 
So 2,000 and euros. 2,000 euros. 2,000 euro or 1,700 points. So uh, I've been out in Turkey now for about uh, five days, had a real good look around. And uh, first of all, let's get the holy stuff, if you like, out of the way. Love Turkey, always been a great place to visit for me. Uh, the people, very friendly. Um, it's a very cheap place to come, really, relatively. Um, taxis, cheap, food's cheap, um, and nice, what's not to like. It's a really, really good place to come, but uh, obviously, I chose Turkey as my destination this year to bring Mrs. T away for a few days because I wanted to have a look at the, uh, the counterfeit industry. It's very, very big here in Turkey. You know, you've all seen the clothes, the bags, etc., etc. but mainly, of course, I'm interested in the watches and uh, they are absolutely everywhere. But it's not all that it seems to be because there are now three different types of counterfeits available it seems in Turkey. Um, years ago when I first came here the common fakes were the Chinese copies and today nobody really seems to want them that's what the sellers are telling me. In fact I was told in uh, two stores that I could have as many of the cheap Chinese copies as I wanted for like 40 quid each. They just wanted to get rid of them. Um, and they, they're still trying to get rid of them. That's what they're, they're trying to offload them all. Because there's now a second grade of fake that's coming through here in Turkey that's made here in Turkey. Um, now they call them triple grade A, grade A, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're not what I would call uh, super clones. These are what I would call reasonably good to look at I mean from from the eye from the eye to the wrist at least they're gonna get past 99% of people they get past most dealers from you know three four feet away um, they're not gonna stand any scrutiny with an eyeglass but visibly eye to wrist they're very very good um, and the going price for them seems to be around about 250 200 250, 300 pounds days. Um, and they are, you'd have to say, they are pretty convincing, at least to the naked eye and to the layman. Um, now tomorrow, um, I've, I've been telling these guys a few stories, obviously. I've been telling them that I'm interested in buying a quantity, taking them back to England, blah, blah, blah. That's my kind of cover story, if you like, to try and win a little bit of trust with them. Um, and I feel a little bit mean because to be fair they've all been so nice and so friendly but I've, I've decided that I'm, I'm not going to name any names. I've got something very interesting to tell you in a minute. One of them told me and he showed me some evidence of it. Um, one guy tomorrow is going to show me what he considers to be the very best counterfeit watches that Turkey produce. Um, and we'll see what they're like. That's tomorrow. Uh, the Richard Mill copies are not available, they're all sold out. Apparently there's a waiting list for those, which is unbelievable. Um, but we'll see what these so-called super clones are like tomorrow. If they are a grade up from what I've already seen, then they're gonna be they're gonna be pretty dangerous, they're gonna be pretty pretty good or bad, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but one of the dealers here that sells a lot of Patek copies, etc. told me that a very, very, very famous individual from the UK is a regular customer there who buys his watches and then shows them off on Instagram as the real thing. And I took that with a bit of a pinch of salt until he showed me the photos to prove it. I actually saw the pictures of this guy with this famous gentleman. Um, on more than one occasion because he was dressed differently on about three or four occasions. Apparently he comes here a couple of times a year to have a bit of a stock up, goes home, don't know what he does with them. Um, but you would be surprised if I told you it was. I'm going to be a bit of a gentleman and not going to say how it was, but I've got it all on tape should I ever need to. Um, so that was very interesting. But 
We'll have a look tomorrow, see what these so-called best counterfeits that Turkey have to offer are like, and uh, we'll take it from there. A few people have said to me, are you going to buy any porn, bring any home to examine, etc.? Uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, the reason I'm not going to do that is I don't need to. Um, I've got plenty on camera already. They've been allowing me to film pretty much as I want. So, you know, we can go through them and uh, see what we think together. But tomorrow's a big day. We'll have a look and see how it goes. What is this one? 1,200 euro. 1,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds. And what, what, what movement does it have? Rolex movement. This is the same. Calibre, it's the same. And each one you like it, I can open and I can show the movement also. Tiffany Blue. So our last day in Turkey, we've been here for 10 days. Um, and I've got to say, we've had a wonderful experience, a great holiday. And uh, look, one of the main reasons that I wanted to come out here is that I was told that Turkey was now the place to find these so-called super clones that are a danger to the watch community. Um, Mrs. T gave me two or three choices when it was time to come away for a holiday and uh, I chose Turkey for that reason. But I've got to be honest, I found no real solid evidence of those super clones being available here. I've found plenty of cheap, tacky, really poor quality um, Chinese made counterfeits that the Turks themselves seem dead keen to get rid of. It's like they bought a job lot a long time ago and they can't wait to get rid of them. You can pretty much buy as many as you want for next to nothing. 
Um, there is a grade higher than that. Um, as I said the other night, a very convincing grade from the eye to the wrist at least. Um, but I was told by two or three of the guys selling watches that if I went to their secret location, I could see these so-called super clones. And I did so on one occasion. Um, to be honest with you, they were no better than some of the stuff that I'd seen inside the shops. It would make for a great video if I told you something different, but that's the truth. Um, I think the interesting part is the amount of watches they all claim to be sending to the UK, whether that be via uh, clients visiting Turkey and taking them back in their suitcase or whether they're shipping them. But there seems to be a lot going back into the UK. It makes you wonder where they end up. So out of 10, how many points out of 10 would I give their top counterfeit watches out here? Um, well, from again, from eye to wrist. So if I'm sitting one side of the table and you're sitting the other side of the table, you're gonna give them a 10 out of 10. They're that convincing. And they're probably about an eight out of 10 in the hand. It's when you put them under a loop that they really start to fall down. And that is not what I would call super clone quality. Having said that, I did have one of those watches in my hand a couple of weeks back over at Spencer's. That's a video coming up soon. And I feel that even that failed the ultimate test, which begs the question, how super are these super clones? Anything is super if you don't know what you're looking at. It's when you do know what you're looking at. And if you've been taught to know what you're looking at, which is what I intend to do for you guys, that these watches fail the acid test. Um, finally, just a little note on uh, Turkey. Um, it's a great place to come and take a vacation. Uh, I've been here probably seven or eight times over the years. Um, and going back a few years, I've found, sometimes found the cultural difference a little bit difficult to deal with. But I've got to say that um, here in Antalya, at least, um, it's been absolutely wonderful. We've had a great time. The people are super friendly. Um, the weather is amazing, even being here in uh, November. Um, honestly, it's just a, a great place to come. So much so that uh, a few years back, we actually looked at buying a property in Turkey. Um, and the prices of the property have gone up probably two, three times. So that would have been a good investment for me we didn't actually go ahead with a purchase. We was gonna buy a big, big property on a, on a, it was going up a mountain. It was an amazing spot and it would have cost us about uh, 400,000 uh, pounds for a property at home. You would have probably had to have paid, I don't know, a couple of million for, if you could have found the location, which you never would have in the UK, but we decided against it. And I've got to be honest, coming back this week, I kind of regret it especially when I look at the price of the property out here now. Um, another interesting thing that I've spotted out here is oh, a lot of Russians here, a lot of Russians. There are also quite a lot of Ukrainians, um, which begs the question, that must be an awkward moment when they come across each other. I haven't spotted any problems, but it must be difficult. Um, but the people have been wonderful. A lot of Syrians here, they've been really, really pleasant. Um, and the whole atmosphere is uh, really warm and really welcoming. So if you're thinking of coming to Turkey, I'd definitely give it a thumbs up. They say that the uh, season starts again from really probably about April. So if you want to come out here, April, May is probably the earliest. You'd want to come out July, August, probably too hot. Um, September, October, November, great months. Um, but I'll definitely be coming back. 